welcome to the latest video from Syriac Origins. In today's topic, we'll be dealing with the book The Might That Was Assyria by Henry William Frederick Sags. This is a fantastic resource and is extremely well written. There is a quote in this book that is often taken out of its literal context by our modern day Assyrian friends. And that is, the destruction of the Assyrian Empire did not wipe out its population. They were predominantly peasant farmers, and since Assyria contained some of the best wheat lands in the Near East, descendants of the Assyrian peasants would, as opportunity permitted, build new villages over old cities and carry on with agricultural life, remembering the traditions of the former cities. An example of people using this quote as a reference for Assyrian continuity come from George V. Yanna, Nicholas Algelou, William Wagda, and also Freda Prem. Does Sags himself actually share this view? Well, the answer is no. To find out, we'll delve deeper into the book. On page 128, Sags writes, In fact, it was the cities of Assyria, which were the destination of a majority of unknown deportations. Assyrian cities thus became cosmopolitan and polyglot with the possibility that within them people of actual ancient Assyrian descent were a minority. Here, Sags isn't even talking about the broad expanse of the Assyrian Empire, he's talking directly about Assyrian cities, in other words, Assyria proper, the direct region of Ashur. In the direct region of Ashur, according to Sags, the Assyrians were a minority due to their deportation policies. Sags also refers to the ethnicity of the Assyrians by saying the Assyrians were Mongols and Nuit. To them, ethnic purity was an irrelevance. On page 20, Sags even calls into question the very existence of the ancient Assyrians and wonders whether or not it was simply a modern day term used by historians to label a particular empirical group. In fact, if we go to chapter 9, Sags has an entire section dedicated with the title Assyrians a nation, not a race. But how can this be? This is called an anachronism. An anachronism is something or someone that is not in its correct historical or chronological time, especially a thing or person that belongs to an earlier time. What we're referring to here is just because the term Assyrian was used doesn't mean throughout history the term continued to have the same meaning. In other words, just because today there's a group of people claiming to be an ethnic group and a race of people called Assyrians doesn't mean that the ancient Assyrians were an ethnic group or a race of people. See, throughout the large expanse of the ancient Assyrian Empire there was a number of different groups that constantly kept revolting against the imperial overlords. As a result, the ancient Assyrians implemented a series of migration policies over centuries to break down these revolts. This led to the mass population movement into Assyrian cities as these cities grew economically and physically. This mass migration, predominantly made up of Arameans, led to the Assyrians being a minority within their own capital cities leading many historians to suggest that this was one of the fundamental reasons that led to the collapse of the ancient Assyrian Empire. So when Sags refers to population groups that continued after the collapse of the ancient Assyrian Empire, he's referring to the peasant farmers that inhabited the region, including the Arameans, the Luyans, the Phoenicians and all the other groups that made up this mass migration. In other words, the Assyrians were a minority of that population group that continued after the collapse of the Assyrian Empire. Mind you, we are still talking about the region of Ashur. We're not talking about the giant sprawl of population groups outside Assyria proper. We are simply talking about the major capitals that made up the region of Ashur. So clearly, using Sags's quote from page 290, to suggest that there is Assyrian continuity after the fall of Nimrit is a bit of an overstatement since the population group that he's referring to wasn't even made up of mainly Assyrians. 
This quote has been cherry-picked to further an Assyrian political bias. Either way, I highly recommend reading the book. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel.